In this section, I'll show you the three different tasks that we can do within the inventory module in Dynamics Nav. For the first one, we use the item journals where we can post positive and negative corrections. For counting inventory, we typically use the physical inventory journal, and for reclassification, we use the item reclassification journal. Working with items in Dynamics Nav, you might have to do some adjustments from time to time. In this section, I'll be showing you how you can adjust inventory. The item journal can be found within the inventory module of Dynamics Nav. It's here within the Actions tab. Item journals are used to post positive and negative adjustments because of a miscalculation, a damage, or a defective item, and you would want to post these small corrections in stock. So I'll start off with entering the posting date. Then I will make it as February 19, 2018. For entry type, I would want it to be a negative adjustment. And then I'll put an item number. In this case, I'll be putting in the back wheel. And then I'll put in two pieces. So from here, you'll see that the system automatically retrieved the unit amounts. And after I've filled in all the required fields, I can post this entry. Now I would want to check if the negative adjustment has been made. I can do this by going into the, by selecting the back wheel and under the Navigate tab, I can click on Entries and check on the ledger entries. From here, you can see the negative adjustment that we just made on Feb 19, 2018. Counting inventory is something that companies do to check if the inventory that they have in Dynamics Nav is the same as the ones that were counted manually. So in this section, I'll be discussing how to count inventory. This function can be found under the Actions tab within the item list. From here, I'll click on the Physical Inventory Journal. And within the Actions tab, I'll click on Calculate Inventory. I can enter the posting date as November 30th, 2018. And then you can also specify if you want to include items not on inventory, include items without transactions, and count by dimensions. So if you count by dimensions, you can see that the system can create multiple lines per item based on the different dimension combinations used. And then you can also include item filters to count specific items. In this case, I'll just leave the filters blank so the system will count everything. And then for each item, you can see that we have the quantity calculated, which is a non-editable field, while the quantity physical inventory is an editable field. So now we can do a manual count of the items. So say for example, for bicycles, you really, you counted that you only had 31 instead of 32. I can put that in here and make that change. And now you'll see that a negative adjustment has been made and this was changed from a positive adjustment that it was before. And then I can select print within the ribbon. and I'll click on Send To as a PDF document. The purpose of this PDF document is for the person assigned to do the manual count can note in this section the quantities that have been counted manually. And then based on this list, we can start enter entering the quantity physical inventory. This may result in some di differences in inventory, such as the change from 31 by from 32 bicycles to 31, and that resulted in a negative adjustment. And after you've posted this journal entry, you'd be able to see the differences between what's in your system and the manual count.
In this section, I'll be showing you how to reclassify inventory. The item reclassify journal can be used to transfer from or to. The item reclassification journal can be found within the actions tab of the item list. The item reclassification journal would come in handy, say for example, if you needed to transfer an item from one location to another. So I can, if I go on description and click on choose columns, I can pick specific columns that I would want within the fields. So for example, if I wanted to transfer from one department to a new department, I can do that here. But for this example, let's create a new location code. So I'll check that in here. So as you can see, the new location code column has been put in. So I can put in a posting date of February 17, 2018. And then for item number, I'll put in item number 1908S to mark a London civil chair. And then for location code, I would want to switch it from the blue warehouse and into the red warehouse. And then for quantity, I would want to put in four pieces. Once I hit post, and this can be found within the actions tab, I should see the reclassification of the item move from the blue bin, the blue warehouse into the red warehouse. Now I would want to go back into the item to check if the changes from the blue to the red warehouse has been made. So to do this, I will click on the London swivel chair. And within the navigate tab, I can look at the entries and the ledger entries. And if I look through the bottom part, I can see that I have two lines now using the type transfer as a result of the reclassification. So the change from a negative to a positive from blue to red.